I did it. I did something that I've never done before. I finished an entire sketchbook. I feel like I did when I finished that lip balm before losing it that one time. I feel like I could take over the world. And I thought, hey, since I actually finished a sketchbook and didn't just do like one or two pages, put it in the closet and then decide to buy a new sketchbook, Let's do a little sketchbook tour. Welcome back friends, and if you are new here, welcome. I'm Teresa and I upload videos multiple days a week where we hang out and we talk about things and do things together. If you would like to join our ever-growing community here on YouTube, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. That way YouTube will let you know each and every time I upload a new video. So this is a mixed media sketchbook. It has kind of a little bit of everything in it. And the way that I use my sketchbooks, some of these pages are going to be like, full-fledged like actual pieces. Some are going to be like pinned later on to put them on a canvas so they may not be like completely finished and some are just like sketches for references or just for like practice. So there is a little bit of everything in here. Side, I love it by the way. I love the crinkly papers from the gouache and the watercolor. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Love the look at that. So yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. So this was filled up between late June to mid-November. Let me set you to some nice lo-fi. Meow. Eek. Wee. Boob cat. Outline. Meatloaf. Wet cat. Really? Top hat class. All right, so I do want to take a moment to talk about this one. This one is called What's Left Unfinished. So this was an oil pastel piece that I was working on, and this was the center of the piece. And then there was going to be some other things, some other colors surrounding it, and it was going to fill up the whole page because my intention was that once I got better, I was recovering from shoulder surgery. Still am, but you know, this was two weeks after shoulder surgery. Once I was done with this, once I was done with recovery, I would come home and put it on a really big canvas. But I had to stop about mid afternoon because I started feeling really bad. I put it off to the side and pretty much slept on and off. And a few hours later, I say a few, Many hours later, that night, I was rushed to the ER by my parents. My parents rushed me over because I was having trouble breathing and having horrible, horrible chest pains. I was in the ICU for a few days and was in the hospital for five days total and had blood clots in my lungs that were around my heart, etc. I will put that video down below in the in the description box, in the comments, whatever, uh, if you wanna check out that whole entire story. But I thought whenever I got home, my intention was, all right, I will finish this. Also, I don't know exactly which way I wanted it to go. I put the date like this, but it served as a reminder to me how very, very quickly life can change.
If you loved one of these pieces, please do let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. And if you like my style of art, and especially with the holidays coming up, if you're looking for some sort of commissioned artwork to give to a loved one, let me know. My business email is in the description box down below and we can talk about art commissions. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and looking through my sketchbook with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.